Christian people, they are so strange. Yes, they are. Those Christian people always talk about change. Uh huh. I heard them. Christian people, they let go and let God. These Christian people tend to be very odd. Very odd. See, they be talking about this book that they call God's Word. Hey everyone, and welcome. Yes, welcome indeed. Welcome, welcome to, to Fire's Place, Place, where faith is your answer. <laughs> yes, it is. How are you doing today? I'm good, and you? Man, I've, I've been busy. I've yes. been, been to a couple events, you know, and everything, mm -hmm. and I've been very busy, you know. But, um... God is good. Yes. Still on the throne. Oh, yes. I know yes. that much. Yes. That's for sure. And that's what we have to do. We just have to keep moving. You know, no matter what the circumstances are going on here in our lives. Exactly. We just need to just keep going. Keep giving yeah. God the glory. Give Him praise. You pray yes. and you pray. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and exactly. That will keep you motivated to continue on with your goals or whatever your lifestyle may be. Yes. So, what we want to do right now is less, as you know, we take the Facebook posts that you repost and we read them and we talk about them that's our specialty okay out of everything else all right and so um you want to start with yours yeah start with yours oh my so my repost post says as we grow up we realize it is less important to have lots of friends and more important to have real ones mm. it's less important to have Lots of friends, and more important to have real ones. Wonder why that is. Hmm. Well, as we grow, as we've gotten older, we what we used to call that was associates. Okay, <laughs> friends and associates. Friends okay, and so, yeah. yeah, yeah. And so when you have just a lot of friends, those are associates to me. Mm -hmm. But when you have friends, friends are those that you've known at least five years or more. Right. And I can say I have at least five people in my life that I've known five years or more. Wow. When I hear that, to me, it's like also, it's like, well, I think when you were young, reason we change, for me, the reason, what to, when you're young, you have like, you want to be social. You yeah. want to be liked. Mm -hmm. You want to, it's popular to have a lot of friends, yes. you know. Yeah. Thank God there was no texting and cell phones yes. when I grew up, you know, <laughs> but we fighting at home over the little dial tones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Staying on the phone. It, it's it's busy, dang, waiting for it not to be busy. busy. <laughs> <laughs> but then I think what happens is we get damaged throughout yes. the years with our so-called friends yes. and things happen and you learn not to trust. You get right. beat up by so many people. people yes. So we learn that. They break it's, that trust. Yeah, it's so mm -hmm. much. That's why we learn it's better to have somebody that we can trust. Is mm -hmm. that what the last part says? As we get older? Um, more important to have real friends, real ones. Real ones. That's, real you ones know. is going to be in your life no matter what. They're going to be there when you're down, when you're up. They're going to be. They're supporting you. Yeah. They're encouraging you. They're praying for you. That's a real friend. And you know when you find those kind of friends, you want to hold on to them because they're yes. going to be. It's. I mean, not only are you looking for a friend for that, but they're looking for that type of friend in you as well. Yeah. So it just makes a difference when, especially if it's on a, 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 godly, on a, on a godly love. Yes. It's going to be that way. So we just have to um, just love on people. That's all we mm -hmm. have to do. Just love on it and it comes back. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's real talk right there. We really do. And so what does yours say? Oh, I'm getting ready to read minds. Well, mine says, we are all human, but in no way. Uh -huh. Are we the same? We all have things that make us individual and unique. There is a story behind each and every one of us. A reason why we are the way we are. And think about that. It says before you judge. 
That's kind of long, Tamara. How is that long? That's long. <laughs> you tired in the brain. That is not long. You know, and when you think about it, basically it's what they're saying is because we are all so different mm -hmm. and unique and individually made, I don't know you, the reasons why behind why the reasons behind why you act a certain way. Mm -hmm. So why would I judge you? Right. Why you do something or why you don't do something that I may like or might not do, you know, whatever. But mm -hmm. how do I know what your need or your reasoning is for you doing whatever it is that you may do that I may think that I have the right to judge? It's what it's saying, basically. Mm -hmm. We're different. We're right. individual. We're not meant to be the same. Exactly. You know? Exactly. Um, we wouldn't get along if we were, if we were all the same. Exactly. <laughs> you know? Exactly. Exactly. And... Exactly. And knowing that every single human being, every one of us, when you think that we all have a story, mm -hmm. every one of us, mm -hmm. and not look at your story to be better than somebody's, but you have one, and your unique individual story is meant to be told to inspire, encourage, and encourage somebody else. So never not think that you don't have a story or that you're yes. not worth um, helping somebody with your story. You know, in your individualness <laughs> and your uniqueness, yes. no matter what somebody may have said to you, or no matter what somebody told you, or you couldn't do, or whatever it is, yes. God sees something in you and put something in you that nobody else can see. Yes, I agree. You know, and also the reason why we go through trials in our lives is because that God can use those trials for us to testify about His glory. Mm -hmm. And that's what it's all yes. about. And once we do that, we start maturing, we start growing, you know. Yes. And we just start, the love just takes over. It just takes over. So that is the awesome thing about the glory of God. Right. <laughs> it's just awesome. But, you know, that's just all about maturity. It's about trying to be mature in Christ and being able to just walk the light, walk that path that He's already set before you. You know, you said something that stuck out, and that's maturity. And I don't think a lot of people understand what it takes in order to be mature in Christ. They think if we accept God, you know, mm -hmm. that then we accept Him, and that's all we have to do. But there is a process if we want to be mm -hmm. mature right. or right. sanctified, mm -hmm. you know. In other words, yes, you're saved in instantly. But it is a process. It is a process. You have it to definitely. mature. And you have to experience the things like you were saying. Yes. We have to go through the trials and the tribulations. We have to go through the hard times. Yes. Because that's a process. Yes. To mature us. Yes. So when we cry in our day. Lord, have mercy. Help me. Have mercy. No, I got to go through <laughs> this again. 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 <laughs> But what we always say, press, 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 uh, press on, press, 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 press your, press your way, press your way, press your way, press your way. Oh, stop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but that's what like you gotta deja vu. <laughs> that's what you gotta do. That is what we gotta do. So, where we wanna go now? We're going to go to the special segment, and here's where you're going to be um, hearing from our professional singer, Tamara Walker, a.k.a. Faya. Hey, girl, I thought you invited somebody on the show when you said professional singer. <laughs> professional <laughs> singer. I will receive that in the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. All right, let's All go right. get set All up right. there. All right. Peace. You know, in the book of Hebrews, the 11th chapter, it says, Now faith is a substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen.
me break it down. Faith is not something you see. It's something that you just believe. And if at first you do believe, you can ask and receive. Faith is not. And that was faith is your answer. Just keep that in mind. Remember that. Fire. Faith is your answer. Thanks for tuning in to Fire's Place today. We'll see you next week. All right? Bye-bye. Love you.